Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring IPv6 ACLs. Here is our objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, configure, apply and to verify an IPv6 ACL. In part 2, configure, apply and to verify a second IPv6 ACL. Coming to part 1. Configure, apply and verify an IPv6 ACL. Logs indicate that a computer on the 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon 11 double colon 0 slash 64 network is repeatedly refreshing their web page, causing a denial of service attack against server 3. Until the client can be identified and cleaned, you must block HTTP and HTTPS access to that network with an access list. Coming to the topology, here we can see the uh, network uh, which is repeatedly refreshing the web page and uh, uh, causing a denial of service attack. So we are going to block uh, HTTP and HTTPS access for this network. Coming to step 1. Configure an ACL that will block HTTP and HTTPS access. Configure an ACL named block underscore HTTP on R1 with the following statements. So here we can see that uh, block HTTP and HTTPS traffic from reaching server 3. So we have to give this command on the router R1 deny TCP any and the destination host 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 30 double colon 30 that is equal to www and for also we have to give deny tcp any host 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 30 double colon 30 eq443 this is for https and allow all other ipv6 traffic to pass Coming to the configuration on the router R1. Enable configure terminal. Now we have to uh, configure an ACL named block underscore HTTP. So we have IPv6 access list. Then we have to specify that name of our ACL that's uh, block underscore HTTP. Right now we are going to give deny tcp any now we have to specify the destination uh, host that's we are going to specify the ipv6 address of our server as yes, here we can see that and now we are going to give a match only packets on a given port number so eq and now we have to give for the HTTP that is a www. Now we will configure for uh, uh, HTTPS. So deny TCP any host and we have to specify our server IPv6 address and EQ. Now we have to give the port number for HTTPS that is 443. Next we can see allow all other IPv6 traffic to pass. So we have to uh, explicitly allow all other IPv6 traffic. So we have to give the command here permit IPv6 any any. Coming to step 2. Apply the ACL to the correct interface. Apply the ACL on the interface closest the source of the traffic to be blocked so here we can see ipv6 traffic filter and our acl name that is block uh, underscore http inbound coming to the topology here we can see the interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 which is closest uh, the source of the traffic to be blocked coming to the configuration we have to exit from here and we have to go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we are going to give ipv6 traffic hyphen filter 
and our ACL name that's block underscore HTTP and here it's inbound packets. Coming to step 3, verify the ACL implementation. Verify the ACL is operating as intended by conducting the following test. Open the web browser of PC1 to uh, this uh, URL that's http colon double slash 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 30 double colon 30 or uh, we even we can give this uh, URL uh, http yes yes right the website should appear open the web browser of PC2 then we have to give that same uh, URL uh, for both http and http yes the website should be blocked ping from PC2 to this uh, server the ping should be successful right so we will uh, verify uh, this uh, ACL implementation now first of all we will uh, try to access our uh, uh, web page uh, from this uh, PC1 coming to PC1 web browser here we are going to give the URL right first we will give for HTTPS yes we are getting the web page now we will uh, try for http so we will remove your yes and we will press go yes we are getting the web page now we are going to access uh, this uh, web page from this uh, pc2 and here we can see this uh, network is uh, uh, blocked the services HTTP and HTTP yes so we are not going to get this uh, web page anyway we will try that coming to PC2 web browser here is our URL this is for HTTP yes service and going to press go no we are not getting the web page now we will uh, try for uh, here we can see request uh, timed out now we will try for http we will edit the url here and we are going to press go no we are not getting the web page here we can see we got the message request timed out now we are going to ping from this uh, PC2 uh, to our uh, uh, web server, server 3. Coming to PC2, command prompt. Here we are going to give ping and our server IPv6 address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Yes, we verified our ACL is operating as intended. Now we will come to uh, part 2 configure a play and to verify a second ipv6 acl the logs now indicate that your server is receiving pings from many different ipv6 addresses in a distributed denial of service attack so you must filter icmp ping requests to your server this is the second ipv6 acl we are going to implement coming to step 1 Create an access list to block ICMP. Configure an ACL named block underscore ICMP on R3 with the following statements. Block all ICMP traffic from any host to any destination. Allow all other IPv6 traffic to pass. Coming to the router R3. enable configure terminal here we are going to give ipv6 access list and now we have to specify the name as specified that's block underscore icmp now we are going to deny any host to any destination so deny icmp uh, for any host for to any destination right and now we are going to allow all other IPv6 traffic to pass. So we are going to permit IPv6 any any. Now we will come to step 2. Apply the ACL to the correct interface. In this case, ICMP traffic can come from any source. 
to ensure that ICMP traffic is blocked regardless of its source or changes that occur to the network topology. Apply the ACL closest to the destination. Coming to the topology, here we can see uh, the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, and we are going to apply the ACL to this uh, uh, interface which is uh, closest to the destination. Coming to the router R3. Configure terminal, we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give IPv6 traffic hyphen filter and we have to specify uh, our access list name that's block underscore ICMP and now we have to specify outbound packets coming to the last step step 3 verify that the proper access list functions first we are going to ping from PC2 to our server uh, the ping should fail. Also, we are going to ping from uh, PC1 to our web server. The ping should fail. Then open the web browser or PC1 and we are going to give this URL uh, for the services HTTP and HTTPS. The website should display. First of all, we will uh, ping from PC2 to the server 3. Here we have here we can see destination host unreachable. Now we will try from PC1 to the server 3. Ping to server 3. Destination host unreachable. Now we will try to access the web page from PC1. Web browser. Here is the URL. And here we are going to give the service HTTPS. Yes, we are getting the web page. Now we will come to the service HTTP. We will edit the URL. Press go. Yes, we are getting the web page. Yes, here also our second IPv6 and access control list uh, functions very well. Right, uh, so in this packet tracer activity we have seen uh, configuring IPv6 uh, ACLs and here we can see our uh, this packet tracer activity completion status 100 out of 100 and now friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you